20 tests? What happened? Uh, we don't have a great deal of knowledge about what happened. That's from our reporting, that 20 number. The company has not confirmed that. Um, from our reporting, it suggests that they're, they're aiming to do about twice that today on, on their second day of tests. I think what happened, in, in a sense, is it does seem like this got rolled out very quickly. If you recall, the president made a statement on Friday in a press conference saying that Google was preparing this nationwide um, screening. It turns out it was Verily, which is a you know, Google sibling company, and it's limited to two counties in the Bay Area. Uh, and they, they're calling this a pilot rather certainly than, than a na nationwide program. Mark, you had folks yesterday who were desperate to get tested, today who are desperate to get tested and cannot get tests. Do we know how quickly they can ramp this up? And is this really a, a, a snapshot of what's happening across the country and why folks out there just can't get tested if they want to? Yeah, my sense is they're working with the government, they're working with state officials, um, certainly the private companies involved. Um, you know, the Verily test, they describe this um, as a, a risk test. So they're looking for high risk asymptomatic individuals. So if you go through the screening process on the website and say um, that you have the typical symptoms of, of coronavirus, so fever um, and, and cough, you're actually then directed to a medical professional. Um, but if you are, say, a, a pregnant woman or you've been traveling to um, infected countries like China and Iran recently, um, then you can sign up for this testing. Um, clearly, there's a backlog. Um, there are a lot of people, you know, but this is, I, I think that this is something that Verily has been doing um, for years. Their, their sort of bread and butter has been big data analytics. Um, they're not necessarily a health provider, um, nor have they done this sort of testing, uh, that they have this baseline project where they've been doing this around genetic testing. But as far as testing for something like the, the coronavirus and this novel pathogen, this is something where they're new, is new to them as well. Let's talk a little bit about the other things that Alphabet has been doing in the midst of this coronavirus outbreak. Google has taken sort of an unprecedented approach to the way they handle misinformation on the platform, prioritizing mainstream news sources, where for so many years they've said, well, the algorithm can do it all. How is that working? Um, from what little we've seen, it's actually working, you know, take a look at from a couple of years ago where you had this influx of anti-vaccination uh, misinformation spreading on, on YouTube and certainly on, on search. Uh, they've made a lot more progress on that. I think two things. One, they're, they're facing a lot more scrutiny from public, from their own employees, from, from regulators. Uh, Google is also, as a company, has shifted in the past few years to focus on health. They have this new division just called health. They've hired um, you know, biotech medical professionals and experts from pharmaceutical industry. It's unclear sort of what their their business is in that, and that, you know, it's something combined with their cloud business, um, but they're doing this big push around healthcare. The coronavirus is actually sort of a first test of this system to see if they're delivering accurate information around, around search, to see um, you know, what they're planning to do broadly around health. Um, one thing you've seen, uh, if you just go to google.com, there's this, they have this little um, World Health Organization, the five tips for how you can fight the spread of coronavirus.